Hey guys and welcome back to the Diabetes channel. I know we haven't uploaded in a few weeks so apologies for that but we are back with a bang and today what we're going to be talking about is actually something very very um, present time which is basically how winters can affect your blood sugar levels. So let's get into it. Before that it's so cold that I really need to like warm up. All right. So, winters are here and while winters bring upon a lot of uh, coziness and beautifully cold weather, it can also actually play an impact on your blood glucose values. So in today's video, we're just going to quickly go over some of the reasons why that happens and what you can do to stay safe in these times. So, when the winter and the weather is cold, it sort of puts some sort of stress on your body, okay? And your body requires more fuel to fight that cold so when that stress is put on your body because of extreme cold temperatures your body goes into flight or fight response which releases hormones such as cortisol adrenaline and epinephrine these hormones can actually raise your blood sugar levels so very very important to stay warm and cozy in these times um, and bundle up when you're going out and if you are going out for a longer period of time make sure that you are very very warm and insulated so layer up wear socks wear proper boots layer up your sweaters and scarves and keep your ears closed so that your body does not raise your blood sugar levels the other thing that can actually happen in winter is that because we are staying indoors more because we can't go out we become a little inactive so when that inactivity sets in it can actually raise insulin resistance which means that your insulin will not work the way it's supposed to so make sure that even if you're indoors and you can't go out get at least 15 minutes of moderate exercise every single day and that can drastically improve your insulin sensitivity um, another thing what we do is you know your body naturally feels more hungry in the winter again because your body needs more fuel to fight that cold so what we do is we end up snacking more we end up eating more comfort foods it's also the time of the holidays so it feels nice and warm but make sure that you can eat as much as you want but ensure that you're taking your insulin for all those extra meals that you're having in cold weathers it's also very important to understand that your finger prick um, in very very cold hands your blood will not come out the way it's supposed to and can actually give inaccurate results so before checking your blood sugar levels make sure you wash your hands with some warm water dry them completely and then check your blood sugar levels the cold also does not only play havoc on our blood sugar levels but it can also play havoc on our diabetes supplies in extreme cold weathers ensure that your insulin is still actually in the fridge and not outside if it's very very cold we do not want our insulin to freeze your blood glucose supplies your injections your syringes should not be kept in uh, extreme cold weathers even if you're wearing devices that as well Make sure they are kept at room temperature um, and not outside where it's very, very cold. In the winters also, because we're not sort of uh, moving around too much and because it's cold, we don't feel like drinking too much water and that can actually cause dehydration. Even in the cold, when you're actually walking about, you don't feel that when you're sweating. Dehydration, as you know, can also drastically increase your blood glucose. So make sure that you are staying hydrated even in the winter, whether that is drinking warm water or any kind of fluids, but keep an eye on your water and fluid intake. Uh, it's also very important to keep uh, you know a look and check at your feet because as we know with type 1 diabetes uh, for longer periods of time we can start losing a little sensation in our feet so make sure that your feet are kept very warm um, and socks up I, I'm, I'm not wearing socks right now but make sure you do wear your socks and uh, keep your feet very very warm and cozy as well and as always just make sure that you're always checking your blood sugar levels more in the winters because what we have seen as a pattern is that in winters your sugars do rise uh, you do end up getting a higher a1c because of all these reasons so hopefully this video has given you um, an insight into how winter can also play effect on your blood sugar levels and ensure that you are checking constantly correcting constantly constantly exercising constantly uh, hydrating constantly and keeping a warm and cozy um, look at all of the things but also of course enjoy the winters it's a beautiful time uh, but also keep a check on your type 1 diabetes 
So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. Um, if you did, comment down below, like, share, and subscribe to the channel as well. And we will see you again in the next video. Till then, Merry Christmas and enjoy the holiday season.